Hi, my name is Chris Bullock, and I'm the owner of the Wandering Bull Trading Post. We sell craft supplies all over the country, beads, leather, all kinds of stuff. We've been in business for 50 years, and my dad started the business when we were kids running around powwows, and one thing has led to another, and here we are. What we're going to talk about today is fans. This is a turkey wing fan. It's basically from the elbow to the fingers. So this part of the wing I have cut off previously. So this would be the left side of that bird. So it's nice to dance with, but what I want to do is cover this so we can use it for a fan. So we're going to cover it with deer skin. I have some commercial deer skin here. Um, it's the smoke and um, basically all the deer skin that we get has been dyed at the tannery. If it were undyed, it would be in a dull gray. So first, take the leather. So there's a piece of that deer skin. I want to theoretically cover the end and have some fringe. So I've got to cut out my leather to match this so we get a nice grip. So now that I've cut this my deer skin out. I've got a relatively close pattern. I'm going to have to adjust it as I go, but I want to add fringe to the bottom. So I'm going to add about six inches of fringe. So I've cut in some scrap and I'll fringe it after the fact when we're all said and done. And I'm going to tie the fringe into here so it won't pull out the bottom. I'm going to use my awl, poke a hole. So in here, there's still a bone from here to here, and it, it has been cut off at that joint, as I said. So the feathers are sticking in. So I've just poked a hole. So I want to attach the fringe so it's not going to fall out in the future. Um, so this is the quickest way I have found to do it. I'm going to want about that much fringe hanging down. I'm going to pull that through. I'm going to add another piece. I'm going to tie these guys together right here. And I'll show you, we're going to cover all that up. You're not going to see it. Tie a little knot, these two together. And I don't normally use the hot glue, but in this case, I am going to. It makes a great bond. So that's going to hang down. I'm going to throw some glue in here just to hold it in place. Because um, the fan is... Um, One thing, you don't want to drop it. You don't want to lose feathers out of it. It's important. Um, you got to show respect to these birds. Okay. So the piece of leather that I have cut. So now I have this seam here. So you're going to have to cut that piece of leather on an angle. You'll, you'll experiment to get a nice cut. I think that will be comfortable to hold. And I'll have my fringe hanging out the bottom. So at this point in time, I'm going to apply just a little more hot glue in this area here. The leather will move less if I do this now. And um, it's easy to do it now and not have, have the leather twist and turn um, as I'm trying to stitch it up. So just apply a little bit. And for this, we're going to use a number eight glover's needle. And the glover's needle is a three-sided leather needle. And it's sharp, very sharp. And it has three sides. So as you push it through, it slices the leather. Um, and it will, it's different than the beading needle. It's sharper. And um, so... I'm going to trim this. I want it nice and tight to that. 
So I'm using the Edo Glover's needle and the single ply imitation sinew. And that's a little bit. We're gonna trim this as we go, as that leather tightens around the fan. So here's my needle. I'm gonna, I've got it doubled. It's a two ply and I've tied a knot at the end. I'm gonna start down at the bone, that knuckle, and I wanna cover up this little bit of leather lace that we've started. So I'm gonna do what we call the baseball stitch. So I'm gonna start off like this. So now I'm on the outside. I'm gonna take my needle onto the inside and pull. I'm gonna to go to the opposite side on the inside and pull. I'm gonna snip this a little tighter. I want it basically right tight, right up to there. So let's trim this. It's not an exact science. Um, that's the way I like it. I'm not one of those technical guys that pulls out the T-square and the tape measure and the ruler and all of that. Let's use common sense and um, do a nice job. So the baseball stitch, I'm on, I came on the outside. I'm gonna go opposite side on the inside and pull, go back and forth and pull that guy tight as I go. I wanna basically cinch the two pieces together. So I'm traveling up that. And my needle, I'm, I'm an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch from the edge in. And if I wanted to pull more of this in, I would come in further. Is a good example. You get a fair amount. I should probably trim that. I'm going to just do that big stitch. Pull that guy tight. I'm going to do one or two more, get right up to the top. I like to, um, when I get to the end of a project, whether I'm showing a bag, a pair of moccasins, at the beginning and at the end, I like to do a couple extra stitches just to hold it in place, one so it doesn't back out, and um, it just it holds it together. So let's see, I'm on the front side, I'm going to go into the back. Pull that tight, and I'm going to go into the front. So generally, that's the baseball stitch. And um, the reason they call it the baseball stitch is obviously they stitch baseballs with this same technique. Um, so I'm done. I want to do a couple of loops and then tie my knot. I want to hold that in place. So once again, I have my needle popping through. I'm going to take my thread, wrap it around the end of my needle. I do it twice. Pull. I'm going to do it again. The imitation sinew is a waxed nylon cord and it wants to stretch and because it's waxed it's very slippery and those knots tend to back up. So here's my second knot. I'm going to pull that guy tight. I'm fairly happy with that. Um, so I'm going to snip it off. There's my beginning loop. I'm going to snip that guy. So I'm um, halfway there. So at this point, I'm gonna stick a little hot glue in here to hold this leather right tight, both the front and the back. You could use regular Elmer's glue, another glue. The hot glue dries quickly. And keep it neat and not, not show glue.
So now I got all this hanging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this back. And you can make this extension of leather as long as you want. You can add as much fringe as you want or no fringe at all. Um, so what I'm going to do at this point is fringe this. Fringe don't have to be perfect in this case. It can be wavy a little bit. I like it wide at the bottom and get tapers narrow to the top. And here's a piece that's narrow there and I got this. I'm just gonna do this. Get right to the point where it gets narrow. I don't wanna lose either piece. So I basically slice that guy in two pieces. These are the two pieces that I put in at first. I poked them through the fan and I glued them in place. And I want to fringe it up underneath that flap that's hanging off the, the handle of the fan, that little flap that was hanging down. Okay, there's some fringe. So now I'm, I'm gonna fringe this piece here. I'm gonna fringe it up to right about at that point there. And with my dance fans, I like applying a handle, a wrist strap. Um, so when you go to shake somebody's hand, um, you can put your fan down and it hangs from your wrist. You're not gonna drop it. Um, by chance, if you forget and drop it, um, there's certain fans that you don't want to hit the ground. Very, it's very disrespectful. And um, we just don't wanna go there. So. I'll apply this wrist strap, and I do it to all of my dance sticks and fan handles. Um, it's a simple, simple, easy thing, and you're not gonna drop your fan. So the bronze turkey wing that we're dealing with is a local turkey from here in New Hampshire. And when you picture Thanksgiving dinner and they see the big turkey out in the woods, this is the turkey that this fan comes from. Um, so at this point, I'm all fringed. I'm gonna tie that bundle right there. But I, I'm gonna just put some hot glue right on the inside of that to hold all of this together. Don't need a lot, but I wanna make sure that that knot with the fringe isn't gonna go anywhere. And then it'll also hold the handle to the wing fan. There we go. So I cut a piece of lace. This guy's about a half inch long, half inch wide, and, it, and it's a couple feet long. So basically, I'm going to tie it around this area. I'm going to tie a square knot so the knot does not come untied. And since I have the glue gun, I'm gonna apply a little glue right to that knot. Take the balance of my lace. So there we go, turkey wing fan. I have my wrist strap, generally easy. I apply the wrist strap to, if I have a rattle, 
Um, but all my fans have the wrist strap and it just all blends in nicely together. If you wanted to embellish this, you can add beads to this. You can also add hackles up here that basically would go up over the feather, over the feathers on both sides. Um, but Turkey Fan 101, thanks for watching. Wandering Bull, check us out on Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, give us a call on the 800 number, 800-430-2855 if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy dancing.